This segment is brought to you by Express Employment, your locally owned and operated staffing company, respecting people, impacting business. You're watching Inside Durango News, I'm Ashley Dixon. With all the bars and restaurants in the area, you might be surprised to learn that the city of Durango has never had a legal distillery. Well, now we do. News director Debbie Urota takes us on a tour of Durango's first ever legal distillery. It's called Durango Craft Spirits. I'm Deborah Urota with Inside Durango News, and I am here at Durango Craft Spirits with Amy and Mike McArdle. They just opened Durango's first legal distillery and tasting room, legal distillery in Durango. Tell us why you guys decided to open a distillery and the first legal one, no less. Well, there's quite a boom in distilleries across the nation as well as across the world, but uh, we felt uh, Durango is a receptive town to drinking and fun. And uh, we thought a distillery ties right in. You can go across Colorado and there are over 50 distilleries in the mountain towns and uh, cities. And so we thought it was a great opportunity, something Durango really needed and uh, would welcome. So you were talking about um, tying in this distillery with Durango's history. I see that your first vodka that you've labeled and, and bottled is called the Soiled Doves. So tell us about the concept for the, for the distillery. Well, we are pulling a lot of Durango history into our products and all of our cocktails. Um, the Soiled Doves, which was another name for the prostitutes at the turn of the century. Um, they, they contributed a lot to the founding of Durango. Um, they brought a lot of business into Durango as an early mining town. Um, the fines that were assessed to the madams and the soil doves themselves um, went to building our first schools, our police department, things like that. So we're kind of paying homage to the soil doves. Um, the horseshoe is probably our, our most popular. That sounds delicious. And the name of the cocktail, um, the horseshoe, Bessie Rivers, which is who is the most prominent madam, um, really from the late 1890s to 1940, I want to say, she owned a saloon called the, the Horseshoe. So this is, this is her cocktail. Cheers. drink this all morning long. <laughs> the finished product that I just drank starts out as grain and what do you do with the grain to make that happen? Well Debo, we cook these grains over in the mash tun right here, this 400 gallon mash tun and it's a process takes about six hours and then we'll cool that through our work chiller hanging on the wall. That's that big horseshoe and from there we pump it into a fermenter and this fermenter, we'll just pump in the top here, and uh, that's 300 gallon fermenter that will take about three to four days to convert those sugars to alcohol. And at that point, we will load it back into the still and uh, condense those alcohols in a stripping run. And uh, they will come out to pair it when we're there, and we will save up the low wines that is produced from the stripping run load them back into the still for a spirits run where we'll condense those alcohols even more. And from there, we will, uh, through the transfer in these uh, transfer drums, take it over, run it through this uh, carbon filter, and we will polish those spirits a couple times, put them into this mixing blending tank in the corner where we'll do our final cut at 80 proof and we take it from there. And you cut it with water, distilled water? Not distilled water, we use RO, reverse osmosis water, which is as close as we can get to spring water. And then we'll uh, pump it through our bottler where we can fill four bottles at a time in about 25 seconds. And at that point, we cork them, seal them, box them, and get them ready for the so customer. So this really is a handcrafted uh, spirit because you're actually bottling them by hand, not by a machine. Thank you very much, Michael, for your tour of Durango Craft Spirits. We wish you all the luck in the world. Back to you, Ashley. 
Thanks, Deborah. If you'd like to learn more about Durango Craft Spirits, you can visit their website at durangospirits.com. After the break, find out who won $5,000 from the Red Ball Express, and then see who's coming to visit during our Furry Friends feature.